Hey guys, I'm Alex C. And I'm Patrick R. We're at you today with a little different video than we normally do. This is going to be about gun cleaning. Um, gun cleaning's, you know, probably not the best part of shooting, but uh, it's still very important. Um, if you want to protect your investments, you know, a lot of people tie up a lot of money in guns. I know, Patrick, you have, Lord knows, probably, yeah. you know. No one near what you have. Well, yeah. nonetheless, you know, it's, you have, and our readers have as well, presumably. Even if you have, you know, three guns and they're $1,000 a piece, that's, that's still, that's $3,000. I mean, that could be a car for somebody. That's a car. Yeah. You know, my uh, my first car was less than that. I've, I've owned cars much less than that. Oh, yeah. Good Lord. Yeah. Um, so anyways, guys, let's uh, let's talk a little bit about it. I know it's not the sexiest subject we've ever taken on, but uh, maybe we'll show you a trick or two that you haven't seen or haven't considered. Uh, I doubt it, but, you know, this is just kind of what we do, and uh, I've been doing it for 10 years or, or more. Patrick, you... I don't even know, yeah, honestly. Yeah. But I know that some of our readers are very passionate about how they clean their firearm. And, uh, guys, this is just what we do. You know, you might have a completely different ritual, and to most shooters, it is almost like a ritual. When you get home, this is what you do. Some of you guys don't clean your guns at all, you know, and if, if your guns work and you don't care, who am I to tell you to do something different? Well, you haven't told me anything. <laughs> well, you know, I'm, I'm maybe a little pickier than he is, but uh, nonetheless, you know, if you have an AK and you've shot 10,000 rounds and it still works every time you, you go out and it's still just as accurate as, uh, as it is from day one, who am I to say, you know, clean your gun, do something different, this and that, but, uh, you know. Well, like we said, we're no, by no means experts. Uh, this is just some things that we put together, some tricks that we've learned. Um, I brought my cleaning kit today. Uh, he keeps his inside of a drawer system that we couldn't get on camera, so we just brought a couple pieces out. Yeah, but uh, you know, Patrick, uh, you can kind of tilt your tilt your box up to the camera. Uh, he's got a really nice setup, actually. He bought a tackle box, and uh, he used it to organize his brushes, his, uh, his mm -hmm. uh, Q-tips, and things like that. And that's uh, actually a really good idea, guys. A, a, a nice, affordable tackle box. I know? think I paid twenty dollars for the tackle box, um, and then I found a bunch of uh, the Otis multi-pack brushes and they just fit really neatly inside there. Yeah, absolutely. And they're, they're great brushes, guys. They are Otis, fantastic. Otis products are great. Everything from their patches all the way up to their expensive, you know, rods and kits and everything are just great. Right. Um, so let's kick it off, Patrick. Uh, since you brought the, the tackle box, why don't you uh, it's bring us the tactile box. The tactile box. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, well, one thing I really like about it is if you go to the range or you go out hunting or something like that, it fits in a nice little neat package. It doesn't take up a whole lot of room and, you know, there's a fairly good amount of organization in here. So I've got brushes in just about every caliber tucked inside the little pockets here. Up here I've got some Q-tips, uh, some various brush brushes, 12-gauge uh, brush, mop, all that kind of good stuff up here. And, you know, assorted cleaning jags and uh, you know obviously your cleaning rods but I've got you know picks and screwdrivers and greases um, toothbrushes more 30 cal brushes than I can count and um, it offers me a nice place to go ahead and kind of stash all of my little cleaning items down in here and he's got in case you can't see it in frame he's got a, a Silicon rags, some patches, stuff like that. Guys, those are all, all good tools. Yes. I, I do want to hit on this. Uh, you know, an understated cleaning item is the simple Q-tip that you can find in, you know, your neighborhood drugstore. Uh, Q-tips are fantastic. I mean, I know you a know, lot of military people that keep a, just a bunch of Q-tips well, to clean their guns. I'll tell you why. Uh, when I was trained on how to clean the M16, mm -hmm. uh, Q-tips are part of that. Um, we use them to clean out the, uh, if you're in the military, it's referred to as a star chamber, the, the locking lugs on the M16 uppers, and uh, the, the gas tubes. They just fit really nicely in there, and that is how they train us how to do it. Very cool. How Very they cool. did. Yeah. Yeah, they, you know, for a, it, I'm sure they probably still do that. You know, Q-tips yes. are inexpensive, and I'm sure for the military, with the discount they get by buying them by the, by the you know million, that uh, it, they still do that probably. Um, uh, don't quote yes, me on that. I mean, and I don't, I didn't bring any any of them with me, but they actually produce long, um, like swabs. They, yeah, they, they look like the yeah. ones that the doctor sticks down your throat when he's checking you for strep throat. Sure, uh, I've seen them. Obviously, I I don't have military service guys, uh, so I rely a lot on Patrick for input from that. But uh, I've seen the swabs he's talking about. They're just basically like Q-tips. There's also a product in the market called Ramrods mm -hmm. uh, that you Pretty might have similar. seen. Yeah, the, the, it's but they're for the bore of a gun. Right. And if you want to saturate right, your right, bore right. with maybe some sort of copper solvent, it's actually a pretty good idea. Yeah, you know, no, I, I it's like not bad. It. Yeah. It's not bad. Uh, but I'm going to go through some of the like oils and stuff that I've got in here. Um, 
I keep a little can of frog lube in here. Um, I admittedly have not used it yet, but I think we were talking about doing a bit of a torture test on the uh, tantal by packing this into the action and sticking it into a, a cooler with some dry ice to simulate cold weather since we live in Texas and there is none here. You know, another cool thing about that, that product right there, frog lube, um, I believe it's owned by a veteran. Which is, uh, I believe so. Yeah, which is which is neat. And um, I know actually a, a manufacturer that uses it mm. as their primary. Yes, it smells like Pepto-Bismol kind of. No, <laughs> I, it, it, it smells it's, like it's kind of green gum. Yeah. Well, okay, well. Apparently yeah. it's food safe. Wow, well, I wouldn't need it, but, you know. Uh, it's a good product, guys. Uh, Frog Lube is, uh, you know, the praises are sung by many people. Actually, I just noticed on the package, uh, it's owned by a service uh, disabled veteran. Well, there you go. So that so, answers that. Know, yeah, we so appreciate shout out to the people at Frog Lube. Yeah. Um, absolutely, guys. So it's a good product, not only by its own right, but the people who own it, from what I understand, are, are very good people. Um, they back the product. It's got a, a very good following on the internet. I'm sure if you had a problem and you said, hey, man, your, your product didn't work out for me, they'd listen to you and they'd take that well, advice. Well, you know, speaking of Frog Lube, CJ was using it in his uh, M16 22 uh, upper, and he put, you know, like a thousand, fifteen hundred oh. rounds through it in an afternoon. Yeah, we have a friend, uh, a friend with a full auto registered lower, and uh, he has a twenty-two upper. And as you guys know, twenty-two runs a little dirtier. Yes. He uses that exclusively. And when you shoot twenty-two, since it's cheap, you know, of course, this guy goes through thousands and thousands of rounds. It's, it's ridiculous. And I'll go through a bucket. I, yeah. In, in a few hours. I've seen him shoot a bucket. Get a rag, wipe it off, and every you know the parts clean. Yep. And I'm just like, whoa, that's that's something else. So yeah. No, but uh, admittedly, applying it is a little bit painstaking. That's sure. why I haven't dove, dove into it yet. Yeah. But um, you know, moving on, no cleaning kit is uh, complete without some hops. Uh, number nine. I keep a small bottle in here, and then I think I've got a couple pints at home that I just refill the small bottle with. Yep. Um, and I. I am a CLP guy as of right now. Um, unfortunately, it worked for me when I was in the military. It works for me now. Um, I don't see any reason to change, but I do plan on testing out some other stuff. Like I was sent a snake oil prime sample, and we're going to try that out at some point. So, I'm skeptical of a product called snake oil. I don't, know, I don't so. know why. No, but I'm, I'm so. sure. Yeah, well, it'll be fun to see. But uh, yeah, um, hops, or as I, I think they want to pronounce, Hopis, but I've never heard it called Hopis in my life. Tell you what, I'm going to keep saying it. Like I'm going to keep hops. saying hops. Extra syllable, man. Oh, well, nobody has time for that. No. Yeah. So anyways, but uh, let's, let's keep rolling here. Yeah. Um, you know, and I've got a, a ton of patches. I, I clean with gloves. I don't know about you guys, but I really don't like cleaning the, the carbon off of my hands. So I keep a little package of gloves inside the box. Um, and I mean, that's really about it. Uh, it's a pretty standard kit. It's just a little bit more comprehensive than most of them. And uh, I put forth the effort to make sure it was nice and organized. So when I do break it out to clean something, I don't have to spend a lot of time hunting for bits and pieces. And that's a good idea. How much would you estimate you have in this box total? You know, um, I'm willing to bet maybe $120 total. Okay. Um, and that's to include like the big bottle of the CLP. Yep. Um, I, I mean, like cleaning rods aren't cheap if you priced them out. I think I, I paid yeah, $20 for can, this, yeah. you know, almost a decade ago. Mm -hmm. um, and it's, it's taken you a long time to accumulate all this, of course. Um, some of it, yes, but honestly, most of it's relatively new. Okay. Yeah, so that's uh, that's good stuff, guys. He's got a uh, he's got a really nice kit here, and uh, you could piece it together. And uh, you know, if you have a ritual, uh, the tackle box idea is a good idea. You know, maybe you have products that you prefer. Uh, there's no reason you couldn't, you know, think, hey, you know, I want all my products in one convenient place. I go out hunting. I want to have some extra parts in case something breaks. You know, a lot of AR guys keep things like. Uh, I keep a bolt and there you go. Pin, he, in I, my and gun. You know, people say, well, so. a bolt never breaks. Well, you know what? The other weekend we were out shooting. I yeah, broke a bolt. He broke a bolt and we had to replace it. That's, that's the second bolt I've broken in six months. There you go. You know, <laughs> when you're hard on your gun, like, you know, we, we, we're we lucky and then we get to do a lot of testing and stuff for TFB and TFB TV. When you shoot a lot, and, you know, not to say you guys don't, but when you shoot all kinds of crazy stuff that we get to test and stuff, mm -hmm. stuff breaks. You know, it happens. It does. You know, and admittedly, we have so much going on for you guys that sometimes I don't devote the time I should to my own firearms. And I kind of neglect them. You, you know I do. Sure. Um, but that's because we want to go ahead and provide content for you guys, and uh, it kind of takes away from my time to take care of my stuff. You know, shooting's more fun than cleaning. It I all, agree. It all comes down to that. I'm making excuses, yeah. I think. Yeah. All right, so you guys have heard us talk a little bit about the products we use. Uh, we want to kind of break our 
cleaning rituals down a little bit. Um, Patrick, go ahead. Yeah. Um, our cleaning rituals are pretty much the same. Yeah, uh, we do yeah. things a little bit differently, but um, I start off with a brass brush and I'll dip it in my little container of hops and kind of ram it, you know, back and forth until I feel like it's probably scrubbed clean enough to go ahead and run a, a dry patch through. Um, I'll do that until it comes out dry, then I'll run another patch soaked with hops and then do another dry patch until, you know, it comes out dry again and then follow it up the CLP patch and then I'll pull one clean patch through the bore to go ahead and kind of soak up the excess oil. And that's pretty much my, my bore ritual. Um, now after that it's just a lot of CLP, toothbrushes and Q-tips. And then depending on whether it's handgun or not, I may go ahead and break out some of my uh, grease or you know some CLP depending on what it, I'm cleaning. So um, and I think you're Ritual is fairly similar. You know, pretty much the same, guys. Uh, brass brush, I uh, run it through several times. I use a John Dewey cleaning rod. These are great rods. You know, they seem to have a fiberglass uh, shaft and then uh, whatever attachment you put on the end of it. So I'll run a brass brush with hops on there, and then I'll use CLP plus a boar snake. Boar snakes are basically just, uh, you know. So it's, it's kind of a rope with some uh, brass brush. Exactly. Into it. I'll saturate the front and the rear with CLP, run it through several times, and then I'll push a CLP saturated patch through to make sure I got everything. That way you can see on the patch how much you've done. Um, the last thing uh, I have to say, you know, the last patch when it comes out clean, you're pretty much good. But I did put brake cleaner with a question mark. Now this is gun scrubber. It's basically the same thing as, as brake cleaner. Um, you uh, know. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I, you know, actually sometimes I do use non-chlorinated brake cleaner. Absolutely, yeah. No, no uh, question about it. You know, I, 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 I don't want to spend the money on that, so I yeah, generally go ahead and just buy. Realistically, go to your auto parts store, get some non-chlorinated brake cleaner, and it's the same thing. This just happens to be convenient. It's in an air, or it's in a aerosol can with a, you know, mm -hmm. the, yeah. the straw here. Uh, spray off some parts you're worried about, uh, maybe that you can't get into quite right. Well, uh, get a Q-tip after you follow up with this if you can. I mean, it does the trick. It's a great product. As a matter of fact, I use it to clean the, the 1022 after we took it out and shot it. Yeah, and oftentimes if you, 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 you know, high pressure, uh, uh, excuse me, uh, brake cleaner or high pressure gun scrubber, uh, really blasts out a lot of the dirt and grime. So, mm -hmm. yeah, But you do yeah. have to be careful not to get in any wood finishes or anything like that because it can damage finishes if yeah. you're not careful. There is a synthetic safe version, which I would highly recommend over the traditional version because I have had some polymer melt before uh, as a yeah. result. Yeah. So be careful with that, guys. But uh, anyways, that's kind of, uh, you know, our insights on cleaning. You know, some of you guys are definitely more experienced than us, and we'd like to hear your feedback. Maybe yeah. post your ritual below. And, yeah, uh, post your ritual. Tell us what you use. What, what do you prefer? Absolutely. And, uh, you know, if you have an alternative to the tackle box or something like that. Um, the tactile I, box. The tactile box, sorry. If you have an alternative, uh, I'd like to hear it. You know, it's it's seems like the apex of convenience to me, but maybe, you know, there's a, a, maybe you have a Ghostbusters lunchbox from the 80s that you use. That would be pretty cool. That would be pretty rad. But uh, anyways, guys, thanks for listening to our, uh, our spiel here on cleaning products. I know it's not the most exciting thing we've probably done, but we appreciate you nonetheless, guys. Um, if you like what you saw, you know, Drop us a comment. Yeah, drop a Give comment. Give us a thumbs up, whatever you like. Yeah, subscribe. Uh, and also, I, I would be interested in letting, uh, if you have any tricks or tips, let us know. If you'd like to hear more about my cleaning box, go ahead and drop a comment. I might go ahead and do a write-up on it. Um, but other than that, I'm Patrick R. I'm Alex C. Thanks for watching TFB TV, guys. We sincerely appreciate it.